Hi guys, it's Jessie Holton here, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Thanks for joining me for another crafting video today, I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm using this new Amazing Life stamp set from the Occasions, the new Occasions catalogue and Celebrations is on. So if you don't have a copy of that catalogue and you would like one, please let me know. Uh, Celebration is on from January, February and March. Uh, and it is for every $90 that you spend, you get to pick a freebie from the Celebrations catalogue. So uh, for every $90 in increment, you get to add another freebie to your order. So this is actually a bundle here. Um, it goes with the stitched framelits, the rectangle stitched framelits. And these framelits, excuse my nails, I'm due to go to the salon, but these framelits, actually cut and leave a stitched edge on both sides the negative and the positive of the cut so they are super cute and uh, lots of use there out of those I'm really excited to get started using them but I'm not using them in today's card because I'm making a masculine card today with so happy you're in my life I'm starting off with a knight of navy cardstock base, basic grey, so this is an A4 sheet cut in half and so cut at 14.85 down the centre and then scored at 10.5 down the centre, <laughs> don't mind that one, <laughs> and then I have a piece of basic grey which is cut 14.5 um, by 10.1 centimetres and I'm actually going to run that through my um, Big Shot with the Woodlands embossing folder. So this is not a dynamic one, this is just a thin one. So I'm going to leave both my clear plates on. And I'm just going to line it up sort of closer to the bottom because you can see there's a gap here where the pattern stops in the center. So if you push it right up in the middle when you emboss it, you're going to get a line along the top that doesn't have any pattern on it. Okay, so now I've got my Woodlands embossing done and isn't that lovely? And you can do it um, embossing folders either way. I prefer for this one with the trees to be sticking out. And we go ahead and glue that on. Opening up my card to make sure that it's flat when I glue it on and that way it's just easier to attach. And aren't these lovely masculine colours coming together already? Okay, next up I'm going to use the Stitch Shapes Framelits. And this big stitched oval one fits really nicely around that. So I'm going to stamp uh, crumb cake cardstock with memento black ink. And normally I do press the, the stamp down into the ink pad but for um, bigger stamps I like to do it the other way around. So I'm going to do this here because I'm actually going to try and get four of these out of one page and I know that the die fits the stamp pretty snug hopefully that's good I probably should have done it on the oh that's pretty good I probably should have used my stamping pierce mat to do that And 
add my thin dye adapter back on with a clear plate. And isn't that cute? Now I'm just going to add a little bit of detail to this before I stick it on. Got my watercolour pencils here. And I'm just going to use the white one. Just to highlight. The happy. Now we've also got a white chalk marker that you could use to do this kind of thing. And uh, with um, coloured cardstock, if you want to use the pencils over the top of coloured cardstock, just add white to the image first and then you can colour over it with any colour, any other colour pencil and it will actually take up the colour really well and the colours will look really vibrant against that coloured cardstock. The coloured pencils will look really vibrant against the coloured cardstock rather. Okay, so that's that. Might use a bit of the white flax ribbon, hey? That'll still be manly enough I think okay so I'm just going to use a little bit of tear and tape I find that's usually the easiest way to do a little piece of ribbon like this some dimensionals now because you've got the ribbon there in the middle and the trees you don't really want to put any dimensionals over that bit so I'm just going to add two dimensionals at the top and two at the bottom because otherwise you'll get a lump in the middle where you've added those extra dimensionals with the ribbon and everything there as well there you go, a lovely masculine card and it is very difficult for me to not add um, too much ribbon or sequins or bling but for a masculine card um, as soon as you add the bling it turns feminine I think so it's really important with a masculine card just to keep it as simple as possible. And we'll do some Knight of Navy. See if we can fix up this top one. Excuse my head, guys. Oh, that's pretty good. Alrighty, that's that. Nice ombre, you are amazing on the inside using Knight of Navy and Black. And a lovely masculine front. Thanks for joining me for another crafting video, guys. Uh, today I've been using the Amazing Life stamp set from the New Occasions catalogue. If you'd like a copy of the catalogue, please give me a buzz and I'll post one to you. I can post them anywhere within Australia. 
remember to use my host code so you get spoiled rotten when you shop with me. And if you have any questions about any products or techniques at all, please feel free to drop me a line. Uh, thanks for joining me again. This is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up demonstrator for Australia. JessieHolton.com. See you later.